emphasizing the significance of respecting tradition, maintaining a healthy skepticism towards radical shifts, and upholding the integrity of institutions. Thank you for joining us here today. <clears throat> Earlier this afternoon, Donald Trump was arraigned by a Manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts. This case is an abomination. You know, it's obviously political. Seven years to try to come up with this case. They're just wrong on the law. The only crime that Donald Trump is being prosecuted for is the crime of running for president. Political persecution at the highest level. They've quite frankly given up on trying to beat him at the polls. Either going to steal it or stop it by law firm. A Democrat prosecutor elected on a get Trump platform. What's going on here is a disgusting disgrace. It is war on Trump. It is war on the Republican Party, and it is a war on the Republic. This case is the weakest case I've seen in 60 years of teaching, practicing, and writing about criminal law. And I doubt the New York indictment would have been brought against a defendant whose name was not Donald Trump. This judge, I mean, you don't need a prosecutor if you have a judge like this. This judge is not on the level. It's a terrible case, but the judge has been pretty much a rubber stamp on everything that uh, Bragg has wanted to do. They, they're perverting the system of justice. You know, that's where the danger lies. The corruption and subversion of our institutions by the left. This is the Democrats' entire strategy to confine President Trump to a dirty criminal courtroom and keep him off the campaign trail where he can bring his winning message to voters across this country. New York has become a legal banana republic. They are so determined to get Donald Trump. Look, convicting Donald Trump, that's all they have. I think they have no cards and they're depending upon Trump getting convicted. That Trump train doesn't show any signs of slowing down. The only verdict that matters is the verdict at the ballot box.